second part of the two videos that we're talking about teaching your daughter to leave it, we're actually going to do the transfer the leave it to an object that they're not going to get. This is handy when you're thinking about walking through the woods and coming upon a porcupine or walking down the street and coming upon a dead squirrel. We're going to ask our dogs to leave it and we want them to back away and not try to get it, but then we're not going to release them to go and take it because that would be silly. So we want them to understand that sometimes we're going to ask them to back away from an object and they're going to get a reward, but it won't be that object that we're asking them to back away from. So for, well, this is Ursa and we're going to be working with a shoe over here. All right, so I want her to understand that I want her to leave this shoe alone. Ursa, leave it. If she leaves the object, I'm going to praise her. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Then I'm going to remove the object. Okay, and I'm going to release the dog. Very important that you don't say okay as we did the first time because then the dog's going to think that it's okay for her to get the object. Now, some people might think, well, there's a shoe sitting in front of a dog. What does she really care about it? Well, if you knew this dog, you'd know she likes shoes. Um, but let's make it a little bit harder for her. And I'm going to use a toy. And I'm going to make it even a little bit harder because I'm going to throw this toy. Ursa. Leave it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Leave it. Good girl. I'm going to put the object away. Okay, before I release the dog from the training session. What a good job. Can you slap me five? Good girl. And that's the second part of how you transfer the dog onto the leave it where they understand they're not going to actually get that object, but they're still getting something for leaving the object.